Hey what is going on everyone this is Wicked and welcome to the first video of a brand new series called Top 5 Wicked Stuff. Tonight I will show you the top 5 wicked hacks and mods for your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Bear in mind that this video may seem a little bit too advanced compared to the other ones on YouTube who tell you that in order to make your device faster you should set your animation scale on a lower value. That's absolutely pure bullshit. Tonight I'm talking about root, I'm talking about overclocking, I'm talking about the real camera mod that will actually improve the image and video quality, about some audio modes which will absolutely change your audio holy game on your headphones and also on your speakers. All the subjects I'll be talking about are fully addressed in the car section where you can find a complete tutorial on how to install them. So without further ado, let's get into the first episode of top 5 wicked stuff. Okay, so you heard me once, you heard me twice. If you've been a subscriber to my channel, you would have already know that the word which I use the most in my video is root. Here comes the number one wicked mod you can apply on your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus and surely the most important because the other four won't work without it. What is root? Well, think about it this way. When you firstly get a new Android device, you are a standard user of it. This is somehow a kind of a limited profile. Why limited? Because you can't really modify anything related to the system of your phone. When you root your device, you become a super user. The difference would be that a super user has the permission to modify anything on your phone's system. Most of the advanced apps and mods will require root for one simple reason. They can't work with a limited user. They need the full power and access to your phone's system in order to deliver you the goodies they promised. Why does a camera mod need root? Because the files and the camera APK are located into the system partition and in order to modify them you will need to be a super user, remember that. The same procedure applies to an audio mod, to a theming mod, to everything that needs access to your phone's system files. That's root. Of course, with root comes a lot of restrictions imposed by manufacturers. For example, most of the phones will get their warranty voided and uh, if you root them, Samsung will automatically disable Samsung Pay and Secure Folder, more and more apps like Snapchat disable functionality, but you know what, personally I don't give a damn, because there will always be a solution in order to get the functionality back, so no worries. Take in mind what I'm telling you right now, getting a brand new Android phone and not rooting it is like getting a brand new car and only use half of its power, an old one with root will smoke you anyways. That's what I wanted to talk to you about root. How to install it? Well, I have a tutorial on how to install TWRP, which is a custom recovery, don't need to worry about that. If you want to learn about it, I'll just put a link in the description. And root on your Galaxy S8 or C Plus. It is posted right in the car section, should pop up at any time now. Enough with root, let's get into the next wicked hack. Okay, so here comes the number two hack. I know that at least once in your life, saw a video on how to make your X device rocket fast, blazing fast, no clear fast, and the procedure that will result in making the difference extraordinary fast, unbelievably fast, was somehow turning the animation scale off in developer settings. And it seemed legit, since we're talking about re uh, really complicated words like developer options, with a hidden way of activating it by magically pressing the bill number 7 times. Come on, let's be honest. Let's talk about some serious speed improvements, let's talk about overclocking. I'm sure you already heard of this term on your PC. Overclocking your device means that you set the maximum frequency of your CPU, GPU, RAM, etc. to a higher value, meaning that the device will perform faster, in a real way, benchmark wise. Where, by the way, I totally crushed the iPhone 7 Plus in a tutorial benchmark. A video to that is popping out right now in the car section. The video also includes a tutorial on how to install a custom kernel, which is the only way you can overclock your device. Some of you may wonder, well, wicked, is it safe? Well, it depends. If you know what you're doing, it will be safe. Overclocking, undervolting, these are some serious stuff. Just don't think you can mess with them because, well, you shouldn't. Battery life will, of course, be affected in a negative way and the thermals will get higher. But that's the raw power unleashed. You get my point. Not just some fancy ass bullshit disabled animations. The third mod is a mod I've been using on my Galaxy S4 in the last 4 years. I can't recommend it enough, it is purely the best audio mod you can possibly get on your Android device, period. The amount of customization options, playback settings, bass modes, dynamic boost, gains, reverberation effects and tons and tons of other ones will make your device give you an absolutely amazing sound quality to your headphones, Bluetooth devices and why not even speakers. A video about how to easily install it is listed into the car section. You will absolutely love it. Enable and disable it and you will feel that before you are listening to a crappy sound coming from crappy headphones and after you are listening to a sound full of 
passion, bass, vocals and trebles coming again from the same crappy headphones. Wicked mod number 4. Camera mod. Well, this is an absolutely must have mod. Well, think about the title. It's self-explanatory. It will bump up the picture and audio quality of your recordings and enable some interesting features in the camera app. These features were tested by me using a Windows app called Media Info in order to compare it. If there's really a huge difference in terms of quality and believe me, there is. If you won't believe me though, I suggest you watch the tutorial in the car section displayed right now and test it by yourself. The 4K bitrate and GPG quality comparison is also shown in that video. Finally, we've come to an end. The fifth wicked mode I will talk about is the dual speaker mod, which will activate the earpiece speaker as a second speaker. Along with the default one, the phone will give you a more surround sound. You have to be really careful with this one because using it at some higher volume will risk damaging the front speaker. I tested the mod by myself. I gotta tell you, I didn't really expect much from it, but it simply surprised me on how big of a difference it makes. It's worth trying. The video to this mod is also displayed right now in the car section. Anyways, these were your top 5 hacks and mods you can apply on a Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Of course, more of them will come in the future and I will be happy to review them. But until then, if you like my video and want to see more of this series, click that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Let's Get Wicked. As always, until next time, take care. Wicked is out. Bye bye.